If you clicked on this video, you must be preparing for a competitive exam. Competitive exams are exhausting. They cover a lot of syllabus and they decide our future. They decide which university or college we are going to attend and they decide how our career path is going to be from there onwards. Whether it be entrance exam for medical school, dental school, law, business schools, engineering or so many different programs are critical and we need a solid preparation to nail these competitive exams. These competitive exams are daunting for so many people and in this course I'm going to tell you exactly how can you tackle any competitive exam that comes in front of you. I am a strong follower of digital minimalism. If you will see, I use laptops with the lowest configuration, cell phones with the lowest memory storage. The reason is minimalism is how we can sustain in this world of so much distraction and so much user space. I try to keep my applications very limited when I'm studying for any exam or when I'm going to university and studying everyday basis. I strongly recommend these top five applications for any student going for an exam or in the university. Number one is going to be Microsoft OneNote. There are so many note taking apps. I know the more you research about it, the more fancier options you get. People get really excited when they start comparing Evernote with Microsoft OneNote with Notability and Notion the new YouTube favorite notion. The thing is, all these applications would want you to buy some extra storage and use some features specific to those. I'm a third year student at Dalhousie University studying Doctor of Dental Surgery program and all universities throughout North America have one thing in common. They all have free Microsoft Office 365 package right for you when you study there. So I try to compile all my Microsoft OneNote notes into a Microsoft storage only because if the school is giving me storage, I don't have to pay extra for it. If I'm done with the school, I probably don't need that much storage. Right now, my OneNote has over 28 gigabytes of storage. If I go with any other applications, I might have to pay for it. But since I'm in school, since I'm supported by the university right now, university has this Microsoft Office 365 application. OneNote is the best application for me. So I will highlight a lot what you can learn from Microsoft OneNote and note taking skills. Number two is going to be a Google Calendar. Yes, there are multiple Google applications and yes, I just said Microsoft Office is super accessible to everyone, but, but the statistics say 78% users use Google Chrome as their primary browser, even if they use Apple applications. So Google Chrome is definitely versatile and we want to make sure that we customize Google Chrome and our Google account to the best way so that our entire focus stays on the exam and we are not distracted with unnecessary things. Let's start with Google Calendar. Google Calendar is a place where you would try to bring together your academic, your personal, your motivational goals all in one place so that when you visualize it, you would know what are you going to study today? What is your next plan? plan and how long do you need to keep going that gives you motivation that gives you a visual bird eye view of what is all going to happen in this week this month or rest of the year number three on the same note google sheets because we will talk a lot about how to scope your curriculum how to perform space repetition and make sure that you have a good space repetition schedule how to do active recall and how can you use google sheets which is a free resource which is, will be always there on your google chrome browser so that whenever you click home button you would never be able to bypass it and it will always show up right in front of you so that you are on track and focused and have a full record of how your preparation is going so far so google sheets is going to be my third big one my fourth big one is going to be Anki. Anki is a very versatile flashcard app. And the big thing, it's free. Like all other applications that I'm mentioning in this course, Anki is also free. The algorithm that Anki is using is the most tested in the past few years. Quizlet is doing a great job as well, being a web-based flashcard uh, support system, but then you have to buy the premium version, or if you use a free version, other people can access it. And I have tried it when I tried other people are studying how they are studying i can read their flashcards so there is a lot of uh, stuff in the quizlet that i'm not comfortable with so i love anki for a few reasons and that's why number four big app is going to be anki for your active recall and solid exam prep 
Number five application that I'll talk about is Google Forms or Microsoft Forms or Class Marker and different kind of testing softwares have free versions available. We are not going to buy any application. I'm not going to take any affiliate marketing thing here. These are all free applications and I'll show you how can you take the best out of these free applications. Google Forms is going to be an amazing tool for you to test yourself again and again and be ready for that final exam. Not just test yourself randomly, we will try to incorporate the notes that we take, the flashcards that we create and finally make sure that they all transcribe into this one place where you will test yourself every other time every week, twice a week, every morning, depends on how competitive and how exhausting that exam is. That's what will give you an upper edge during the exam process because all your anxiety for exam would be gone. That is something you do every day. Test yourself for two hours or three hours. Hey, you already cleared half the part. Now the only part is to memorize stuff. I recently cracked the National Dental Examination Board and got a high 90s on it. How I cleared GRE with a very high score. How I always take care of my personal life, my social life, my family life. I do not just kill myself with studies. I always give myself enough rewards, enough incentives to keep going on, enjoy the process and also make sure I ace that exam. I will try to keep it very minimalistic, very focused, lean way of how to ace certain exam. If you like this intro, I would look forward to see you in the next part of this course. So this was just a quick preview from my course on how to ace competitive exams. Just go on the description below, check out the link of my course. I think it's a great resource for you. Join my course, learn from it and ace that competitive exam of yours.